let's get started. Welcome to everybody who's joined in and welcome to Career Talks with Mentoria. My name is Nikhar Arora and I'm one of the founders and CEO of Mentoria. Our passion is to help you discover yours and through these podcasts, through these webinars, through these talk shows, we want to give you a very realistic understanding of the career that you're heading into. The more you know, the more informed your career and educational decisions. We have with us a very, very special guest today to have an amazing conversation on the world of tourism and hospitality and building a career in it. We have with us Avi Sharma, who is the founder and CEO of a domestic and international travel agency called Trip Monks. Along with Trip Monks, he's also managing a lovely riverfront stay at Casal called the Riverwoods. Let us get to know him and his amazing journey better. Avi, welcome and thank you for taking the time out to help you know all of our students and working professionals understand what the world of tour management and travel and hospitality is all about. Right. Uh, thanks a ton for coming in. Thanks a lot, Nika, for inviting me and for letting me share my story to everyone, and so that I can you know tell people how good it is to get into this industry and and how it can change your life too. So it's it's better both ways. Fabulous. Let's begin yeah. by getting to know you a little bit more, Avi. For the audience watching this video, could you share a brief introduction of yourself as well as your work and your journey so far? Yeah. So, uh, so I always uh, have been into uh, inclined towards the startups, doing some doing something of my own. So uh, when I was into BTEC, my mechanical engineering, I went to GD Goenka University. So. Uh, there only we started a startup uh, called Phonewala in second year. So from that time I was into marketing and managing things and understanding the business, how it goes. So after mechanical happened, then went to uh, MBA uh, into Nasi Monji uh, Institute of Management Studies in Bombay. So after all these studies, I got placed into a good uh, uh, US company. Uh, it was a night job, but it was college placement, so my parents also advised to take that job. I thought, okay, let's uh, let's go for it and let's try that. What I learned from it, from it, and uh, just because so uh, I have started with the uh, sec- uh, with the startup in second year, so I was more inclined towards marketing and sales and branding and creating, you know, talking to people, creating awareness about things and all. So. I I didn't went into uh, the core mechanical engineering after my uh, BTEC. I opted to go for uh, you know uh, uh, into marketing and sales and uh, creating brands. So after uh, the first job, so after college placement, I uh, I worked there for seven to eight months, and then I came to know that it's it's not uh, what I wanted to do. Uh, it's just not what I you know. Uh, uh, the product which I want to sell. So then I uh, left that particular job. I went into another, uh, uh, a different job. So I changed quite uh, one, two jobs and then uh, ended up into travel industry. So then and there only, so because just, just because I knew that uh, uh, th- these jobs are not uh, 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 worth enough for me because I don't like the uh, product and I, I don't like to sell the things uh, what they have there, uh, then only I left the job. So first of all, uh, people should know that what they are looking for so that they can get a, you know, a job where they love uh, doing the job the whole day, right? So then I left the, uh, that second job in one month and uh, got into travel industry. So from that moment, I, uh, I uh, like that industry. I like the uh, product which they used to sell because it's all about travel, international travel, domestic travel. And so the meetings used to held and it, the, the discussion of the, the topic of the meeting used to be uh, Bali, Maldives and all these places. So if you like the product, uh, the product, then uh, the sales get very easy, the marketing, then your uh, ideas get into, you know, uh, good work. Got it. Fabulous. Abhi, could you also tell us a little bit more about what Trip Monks does and where that idea came to you from? 
so uh, uh, when when i was into travel industry i worked for 3 uh, 4 years in, in into travel industry and in that particular time i got very uh, uh, you know inclined towards making people's travel dreams uh, come true so uh, whenever i uh, whenever my my travelers come back from their trip they used to tell me they used to call me and used to be very happy that our honeymoon went so good and all these things so i uh, i also got uh, uh, my own travelers base from that particular four years of experience that abhi is someone uh, whom we can contact and he can you know uh, uh, help us plan a chaos free trip uh, ha- uh, hassle free uh, trip for our uh, honeymoon or our vacation so uh, then afterwards uh, i didn't uh, so always as i told you i was into startups and i wanted to do something on my own so this was this particular thing uh, uh, i held on to travel industry and i learned each and everything each and every des- destination all over the world so that i get all the basics and everything after so before covid then i started this travel company uh, yeah. uh, called trip monks and uh, so in the covid time it was scheduled so it was forecasted that uh, it it was going to be a golden year for travel but because covid came so it it went really low so then only uh, so before covid we st- we started trip monks and now uh, the whole purpose of trip monks is creating a tailor made package customized package for people uh, who want to go anywhere in the world so uh, just like i do international we have con- contacts with each e- each and every resort in international and for domestic also so i have hotel in himachal so himachal and each and every place is sorted with us so we plan each and everything for the tra- travelers from flights to visa to their day wise itineraries the best hotels they can get for their uh, you know for their stays and each and everything transfers so it's a whole thing that we do for them they just have to you know call call us explain us the requ- requirement uh, what they want to explore how they want to explore and we uh, curate each and everything for them explain them and then uh, you know help them uh, uh, in the whole trip first of all job so you have to find your own passion until then uh, until you find your own passion then only you will love the job but the job is uh, kind of perfect uh, it makes you happy because you are making other uh, other uh, people happy so it it transforms into your happiness also so uh, plus it's a good uh, paying incentive job and if you get a good knowledge of all the places it's uh, so travel industry is one of the uh, Uh, second one of the biggest industries of the whole world so job is really great in this and if someone get uh, works re- really hard and understands each and everything wa- wants to really go into travel industry uh, he or she can perfectly uh, you know get a good success in this because it's all about so uh, a tour manager so it's all about hospitality professionalism the service that you give to your travelers so a tour manager should know so if if uh, if i'm planning a trip to uh, turkey or uh, or bali for someone so as a tour manager i have to know that what are the best places uh, where he can stay what are the best tours that he can do uh, while on the uh, tour mm-hmm. so you got to keep uh, each and every customer uh, on a good care as as you are you are traveling on your own plan plan the itinerary like you are tra- going on your own to that place and how you will cover you have to make the, those customers cover that places because it's it takes a lot of money to go into international and uh, uh, we want to make that money worth if someone is spending uh, money on that got it what so i would like to share a story of my own uh, uh, on that thing why uh, people are not aware about to major uh, as their career so uh, so when i was uh, small i think on in in the class of 9th or 10th i once once i was reading education times 
so i saw so there used to come advertisements if you remember in times of india about paris europe trips and all so at that particular time i also thought that the, this particular thing is a great work to you know send people to europe and it's a very matlab at that particular age i i thought that it's a good job to do so but i myself didn't get any you know uh, any advice to go into this particular thing because everyone is looking for engineer or uh, being a doctor or uh, uh, going into lawyer or same kind of stuff that you told me so uh, it's 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 a thing that it's not uh, people are not aware about these things people end up getting into travel industry just like what i uh, what happened with me that i ended up getting into tra- travel industry and then i uh, got uh, the knowledge of it but still uh, some people uh, surely get into uh, this these particular studies through bachelor of tourism management and masters in tourism man- uh, management but uh, not a lot of people get into uh, the professional side of uh, tourism so it, it's it's not advised uh, because uh, through our uh, uh, teachers our uh, parents and anyone else because uh, it doesn't uh, it is not con- considered as a high paying job so it's always like it's a travel agency so keep tour karata hai so it's it's not like this ki tour karata hai it's a very uh, good particular thing that uh, you are uh, sending someone for their you know for their honeymoon making their memories and uh, it all depends on you what kind of uh, in, in which kind of field you want to get into in travel industry so there are many fields that you want to get you you can get into uh so basic i think uh, tourism management don't uh, uh, require your uh, pcm non medical medical side uh, a normal commerce student and anyone who has passed 12th class can go to tourism management because it's not uh, a tax side or uh, uh, this thing so anyone who has a good you know uh, 12th uh, passing marks can, can get into tourism management and study a whole course of uh, how tourism uh, industry works and there is also masters in it so uh people can pursue it uh, and it's a great thing to do uh, thereafter they can also get certified by the indian uh, travel industry like ita so it it's a lot of things that uh, students can do for this particular thing okay so uh, there are multiple chains of uh, people teams who are uh, connected from the destination to till us and to the customers so uh, between those chain uh, a person can uh, you know select whether he wants to get into a hotel management team a booking team a flights booking team a tour operator a tour manager or a just just a sales person right uh, who's selling the trips so they are different different fields so uh, a tour manager basically what a tour manager is he goes on to uh, go, goes on with the group tour and handles the whole uh, group so uh, a few days ago 80 girls uh, of group came into my hotel so they were coordinators with that group so those coordinators are basically called tour managers so there are uh, multiple groups that goes to you know uh, 100 200 groups uh here and uh, outside india for many companies so this is one job that uh, if someone want uh, likes to travel he can take on uh, groups to travel like uh, for 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 the starters himachal and domestic trips with 40 40 people with 50 people 100 people in that way he can also he or she can also travel himself or herself and uh, you know uh, take the joy of uh, Uh, making explore uh, the whole group to that area so this is one one thing there are many many other things that you can get into uh, this particular days contracting team who goes into that uh, that particular place and meets the hotel people and get uh, us the contact dates so it's a big big industry and many many people so hotel industry uh, uh, cruises 
destination each and everything is included in this so uh, it's this particular uh, in industry teaches you a lot of about uh, uh, punctuality priority uh, how to prioritize things on your life so as soon as you wake up in the morning you start thinking that uh, how are you gonna uh, convert one particular uh, lead today and bring sales if if you are working in a sales so earlier i was into sales and then uh, that's how i uh, got uh, this informed about each and everything so as soon as you wake up then you start planning that uh, how you are going to you know uh, close one particular client what are you going to uh, give a uh, plan uh, for that particular client so that that uh, particular client gets converted and then we can uh, arrange all the bookings and everything for that particular person so it's a uh, it's it, the whole day goes into planning and talking to the customers and uh, it's a very uh, very different kind of conversations that uh, we uh, do with our travelers because they are getting married it's a very happy uh, moment for them they are going on a honeymoon so they want to want a different different things uh, uh, which kind of place do they want to go so the whole day it's, it 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 goes in a very uh, happy uh, mood that you are planning a good thing you are doing a good thing uh, for the uh, people are, uh, who are coming to us and uh, and then uh, it goes on like this and in the evening till the evening it's uh, so we try to close the things and uh, in in trip monks so i am talking about trip monks so river works, works in a different uh, thing so daily we try to uh, you know uh, the leads who are coming to us so we directly create leads uh, to us so people post query on our uh, promotions on our ads and uh, we directly reach out to them understand the things our whole team work works on that and then we uh, done with the work uh, when we convert that particular traveler strip so uh, Uh, once you uh, start with the career the basics you need to learn from the basics so basics is uh, the sales uh, of all these destinations so once you do sales you get to understand all the kinds of uh, places what you have in that particular destination uh, because sales teaches us more than so uh, uh, some sometimes tra- travelers come and teach us more than what we know because it's all internet world so by doing sales it's is the first basic that you can uh, start off with and afterwards then we can start with then we can uh, a, a particular person can go into uh, a booking team contracting team so this is this is uh, an increment to what you are uh, you were doing so earlier you were doing a sales kind of thing and now you are uh, behind that sales team helping that sales team uh, for better rates contracting with the hotels contracting with the vend- the vendors so this allows you to explore more about the hotels about the des- uh, the destination uh, the more uh, uh, you know it the, uh, it's, it's better so and then it goes on uh, then you can climb up the ladder by you know uh, becoming a destination manager helping out all the teams achi- achieving their ta- uh, achieving the ta- uh, the targets and and all these things so it's a good uh, uh, trajectory that we can have for uh, a tour manager or uh, in the travel industry yeah yeah so uh, in travel industry there are uh, big big uh, companies also uh, the companies that you must have heard of about it uh, make my trip thomas cook cox and kings uh, all these companies are uh, uh, the big companies in travel industry so you can start off with these companies and uh, you know grow your own trajectory there so these companies are the biggest so they have good kind of employees so it's very easy to get into a job in a travel industry and then it all depends on how hard uh, how much hard hard work you do and uh, then uh, how much w- you want to learn because it's all about skill travel uh, making someone uh, 
planning or making someone to go some place and having a, a, a memorable experience for them it's the skill for us to you know gain uh, to work with so uh, any skill you have to learn give it time give it hard hard work so uh, it's easy to get into jobs and plus uh, you you also have trip mong so anyone who wants to work with us we are uh, uh, open with good arms and uh, i i'll be the one who will be teaching each and everything so uh it's it's uh it's not that difficult to you know uh, get a job after uh, your studies in tourism management that's very nice of you to offer thanks abhi and and one 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 more thing i want to add i'm 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 really sorry so uh nowadays so travel uh has increased a lot so all the people wants to explore travel the world get to all get uh, to all the places because it's all the places are becoming accessible uh like flights and everything are there so as people are uh, are getting more interested in travel industry uh, in in in, tra- in exploring the things in travel so we uh, as a travel company we need more people to serve all these clients right so right now at this particular moment it's a good time to get into travel industry because in in uh, some few time years few few years it will it's going to uh, be a good uh, industry to work with so uh, as a as a fresher i would uh, say that as a fresher if someone is not from a uh, travel background so he will start at around 15 to 20000 minimum per month as a fresher if he if he or she doesn't know about travel industries so if someone is uh, uh, exp- uh, has the study tourism man- management can get a more uh, salary job from 20 to 30 uh, uh, k per month so this is the starting job the starting salary and uh, with this comes a great incentives in travel industry so travel industry also has good incentives uh, because if you achieve more targets you have uh, more uh, uh, you know uh, numbers on your side you have good incentives also in this so all in all uh, for a fresher for a starter if a monthly income of around 30 40 years uh, is achievable for a starter so uh, after after you uh, go through this starting process of 2 3 years then you uh, get to set your base then you get to you know uh, learn each and everything after 2 3 4 years uh, so if you want an increment so increment comes with a you know uh, you have you should know a full destination knowledge and how you can manage the team what will be what you will be doing to help them achieve the tar- achieve the tar- uh, the targets and uh, how you will create the incentive policies so uh, this is the next step that you uh, get in travel industry that from the bottom of the pyramid you get into uh, the uh, second last of the pyramid uh, helping other people achieving their targets uh, teaching them how you uh, do it right so as soon as you so it all depends on your knowledge in this industry how much your knowledge is uh, that's the most well, uh, the most valued thing in this so uh, if i if someone goes into the interview and has very good knowledge he can cr- crack a job of 80000 1 lakh also but it all depends on you how much you have worked hard and learned all the things so after uh, let's say 3 4 years it's very easy to get into 50 to 60 uh, uh, 70 range of salary and then with the incentives also so the base salary will uh, be increased and uh, the incentives also will be there so within within 5 6 years it's very easy to reach uh, uh, around 80 to 1 lakh uh, per month as a uh, as a salary and then it all depends on the person so uh i can't advise for 10 15 years because uh then after 3 4 5 years you get to choose in which what kind of field you want to be in this uh, in this industry so the biggest the biggest thing uh, about this industry is uh you the other countries should be operational should be so politically all these countries should be perfect uh the travelers who are going there 
uh, should not have any problem traveling to that particular country so it the whole travel industry depends on the uh, the environment what we have around the globe right so if 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 the circumstances of any country gets you know bad so it all all it will affect, uh, it will directly affect the uh, our travel industry so just like covid so in covid it was uh, kind of very difficult to keep up with the uh, with our companies with the employees and everything so these are these are some of the problems which come when you uh, work in this industry that uh, all these things you need to t- take care of that uh, what are the things that other countries are uh, doing at that particular time so that your travelers travel in a safe place right and uh, they are i don't think they are any other uh, bad side of uh, this particular industry uh, i have never been you know uh, like sick of anything or be or been uh, uh, been into problem of something so everything is solvable in this industry uh, so i'll explain you one uh, one uh, chaos so one traveler went to bali and he didn't get uh, one bedroom private pool villa so when i used to work with other company so he booked for a one bedroom private pool villa but he got without the pool so these kind of chaos chaoses you get when travelers travel there if, if uh, the bookings are not done right so it's all about managing the tra- the, tra- the travelers daily listening to their uh, uh, you know all the things that they want to uh, explore and uh, just solve the case one one by one and ev- everything is solved in this so it's a it's a no tension kind of a job everything uh, is sorted in this uh so pandemic hit the uh, travel travel industry the hardest uh, because everything in uh, so if we talk about countries also so bali and thailand were also very affected uh, by uh, the pandemic because their whole so some of the countries their whole economy is depended upon travel industry right so the pandemic uh, made us you know uh, Uh, feel that how how we are going to cope up with this kind of travel so we uh, took new rules we uh, made tra- travelers more safe uh, advised them how to travel what to do before you travel to some place and uh, make made we made pa- packages in some ways that uh, travelers doesn't you know uh, get losses if if they get covid positive report and all these things so uh, we work hard for all the travelers that uh, were traveling through us uh, that they don't get into problems while traveling in covid but uh, it was very difficult because some of the times were uh, through the first lockdown it was 3 4 months so 3 4 months there was no uh, you know uh, no work as in uh, for the travel industry no destinations were open it was proper uh, lockdown so at that particular time you have to be you know uh, sure about the things that uh, it's going to be okay and uh, you have to take care of your team also that uh, uh, that uh, it's going to be okay and the future will be bright for all of us and how we are going to uh, cope with this these things in future so uh, afterwards small deeps got open in the after the first covid uh, wave so uh, these two three years were difficult but now uh, it's getting back on track and until and unless i don't think uh, 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 a big pandemic like covid uh, comes uh, so if covid comes again then then it will uh, affect but if a big a big pandemic doesn't come then uh, travel industry won't be uh, you know uh, shut down because that's what uh, people want to do right now in the whole world just travel Fabulous. thanks a ton for sharing that and those insights abhi let's dive right into audience questions or in from uh, kedari kedari i've just unmuted you please feel free to ask your question um abhi i have a question you briefly mentioned iata what is iata so iata is a is a iata is a government certification which a, a person or a travel company can get so aita uh, with aita you then you can start with your uh, 
travel planning with government companies also so for government companies like uh, if you want a trip, uh, want to plan a trip for, for sbi employees mm-hmm. so you need to be an uh, ita certified travel agent so that you can trip, uh, plan trip for uh, government employees so uh, ita is, uh, is 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 a must for a company it's, it's not a must but it depends on what kind of uh, work you do so with trip monks we only do uh, international honeymoon and uh, uh, small group tours group tours we don't cater to uh, uh, government employees yet but uh, in in future it's it's achievable for that okay, i have one more question uh, do you also just plan for the family and give them a plan how to go about it they may not need uh, uh, more help than that because as uh, we have already uh, you know discussed earlier that uh, now everybody wants to go see in the maps they want to plan on their own uh, and uh, go ahead but they may not have time to plan but they have time to follow your plan so do yes. you also do that uh, where they don't need any of your support anywhere else just plan it and give it to them and they go and uh, enjoy their holiday and come back Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's it depends on the travelers what kind of destination they are going. If they are going for the first time to the international, and uh, and uh, what kind of things they want. But uh, from our side, we uh, create, we plan it in such a way that we will be uh, uh, there with you for uh, like when you are on the trip, twenty four seven. So uh, we will be there with you on your WhatsApp group, on your call. if you have any issues so there are team there also so if we go if someone is going to bali so uh, there will be a team to manage to uh, manage that customer uh, what is the day wise itinerary how uh, on at what time you need to come at tomorrow morning for for the tours so everything is managed but it, is, it depends on the traveler how how he wants how he or she wants okay thank you thank you. Thank, thanks a lot to you Yeah. Well, next question is from Aditya. First of all, thank you for the insights about the travel industry. And uh, uh, I, I, I have a few questions. Uh, I would uh, just like to raise them one by one. Uh, like, uh, first of all, like, what is a uh, what is a typical day in the life of a tour manager? Like, uh, uh, when he goes to the office. uh what would be his typical work profile what would be what would he be doing in a particular uh, so, in any day so, hmm so aditya on this particular thing uh so as i told you earlier it's going to be a full day it's going to be on uh, planning uh, trips for the people who uh, who have contacted you uh, so someone will contact you that aditya i want to go on a trip to maldives for uh, three nights and these these things Uh, you plan a trip for them, and uh, so it all depends on which kind of uh, uh, you know uh, department you are working in in travel in travel industry. Okay, so there is this the basics of all these things are. Uh, uh, so, uh, but each and everything the whole day is uh, went uh, goes into you know uh, talking about the places, uh, talking about the. uh you know the tours the cruises the uh, hotels the resorts so the whole day goes into uh, in a in a very positive uh, mood the the positive way that so if you get into some so let's say if you get into some co- some company who sells transformers or uh, lights led lights but you don't like the product you don't like to talk about it the whole day but in travel industry you will love to discuss the things uh, the whole day in office because there will be many people in the office and uh, every person is doing a different thing in the office so the whole day goes into excitement and uh, the the want that i i, I as aditya want to create a good trip for people yeah so apart and from planning after, of- after office hours after office hours it is there's no work because Uh, uh so it's only uh, office day work so after if if there are any clients who wants to contact you uh, uh, talk to you or you want to talk to them then it's only uh, work okay then apart from planning of tour for a particular client is there any other activity that uh, uh, that is required like uh, apart from planning and arranging the logistics 
is there uh, anything else uh, that that needs so to be are, done there are different 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 teams uh, but the mm-hmm. basics because once you learn the basics then only you can go go into other teams where you can you know impart your knowledge help the other teams get their you know uh, things done so first of all these are the basic things planning the tool uh, and everything and then on then you can get into you know uh, a team so there is one team who goes into uh, uh, maldives resorts explore all the places in maldives resorts and uh, you know get us the contracted rates so this is one part of the job also where uh, people go to uh, right so there are different different things in this job also so you can opt as soon as you start with the basics so after you learn the basics then you'll have the clear idea that uh, then that i will get into this particular thing okay so there are also people like who accompany the team uh, in their tour right Uh, yes, yes, like, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two coordinators. So, uh, big big companies. They have two hundred, three hundred groups going to, uh, you know, uh, to international places. So, so they are two managers who go goes with them. So this this is the perfect job for okay. the, most of the people who want to travel, right? All right. Yeah. Okay. uh thanks and uh, my next question is like uh, uh, like uh, is what are the skills required by a tour manager like uh, the uh, should he have some uh, knowledge of uh, kind of history geography or uh, uh, some like uh, what are the typical skills required by a uh, uh, so tour, a full uh, a full destination knowledge is required to a person so if you talk about geography you should know geography you should know the history of that particular place also because when you are on call with the customer or you are if you are uh, you know working in that particular destination so let's say you are working in europe uh, uh, that particular place so europe has many countries in it and uh, and then uh, you can you know uh, 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 write what in the present world it's all internet world so people mm-hmm. are already educated about each and everything uh google instagram they will see instagram videos reel that i want to go to this place in uh, europe or in turkey or in these places yeah. so uh you have to <coughs> sorry you have to have uh, the full destination knowledge of that particular place then only you can say <coughs> sorry you can say that you are master of that particular place and then i can take groups on that particular place and uh whatever i want to work with in that particular destination okay. do sales do group tours do contracting team uh be a, you know be a destination manager for your team help them achieve the targets help them advise what is the best so it's a it's, it's a job where you don't need to take uh, much time much uh, stress for the work okay all right and uh, like uh, any particular educational qualification that you re- uh, required and uh, to get into this uh, uh, like tourism industry or like uh, suppose who is not from a tourism background who is uh, like uh, can he also get into the sector without any qualification any yes, particular yes, yes. so that's what i have said uh, anyone who is interested in this particular industry bba bcom btech mechanical uh computer science any from any part of the educational side he can get into this particular thing because this is uh this travel industry is not associated with with your physics with your maths with your bio right it's associated with the skills and the and the want uh, of that you uh that you want to make people's travel dream come true your interests yeah right. your interest mm-hmm. it depends okay. on your interest only so there's mm-hmm. no any no any uh, special academic needs for this particular thing okay uh, but if uh, if we uh, suppose if somebody wants to have a formal course like uh, we, uh, which is the best course that you suggest to uh, like if someone wants to do a uh, a course to get into this industry uh, which which is so, the course uh, that you would suggest if you want to get uh, want uh, a perfect uh, course so then it's bachelor of tourism management masters in tourism management right okay. uh, but okay. if you want a crash course and you don't want to spend your uh, you know uh, more years into studying of, uh, about all these things then you can do a crash course with uh, so our company also provides uh, education academy uh, things with the course uh, 
so uh, within that particular course you get to learn what all destinations you wanted to learn so if you all choose right. for three des- uh, three des- uh, places to learn then uh, it it will be a 10 days course 15 days course it depends on what kind of things you want to learn so there are crash course with trip monks we can uh, i will ask yes. nithar to share all these things on later days so uh, if you want to learn uh, travel industry in a you know short span of time then we can mm-hmm. obviously help uh, but what people do is uh, if they have not gotten into travel industry uh, the studies of btm and uh, masters in uh, this travel industry so they get get into uh, uh, the job as a fresher then okay. they learn all right so what, what we can do here is an uh, in, in trip monks in the, in these crash courses is we can learn the things and get into the job with experience that i know all these things about the uh, the des- the places and then uh, i can start you know selling these things so right. the question is about the transition risk only so my the course is uh, bs in hospitality and hotel industry so it is bit uh, related to this uh, travel and tourism industry so the yes. thing is doing placement only hotel companies come for the placement and not uh, any travel companies like uh, make my trip or commerce for them such companies so how can i apply for a job in this company and with this current qualification if i want to like in this in your company okay so your current qual- qualification is hotel management right uh, hotel and hospital uh, hospitality administration yeah so as uh, what i've said earlier it's it, this particular job does not require any specific qualification and moreover you are from hotel management so you know a little bit about uh, you know hospitality and uh, some things about travel industry also that yes. how it works uh, right so this yes. is a perfect thing you can start with the job uh, with this particular degree also it's not a problem so with this current qualification what kind of job profile will i get in the company if i apply for uh see again uh, just because you uh, you will take time to learn the de- the, the the destinations right you are uh, a fresher kind of a thing because uh, there's no prior experience into travel industry so as a fresher you can you will enter into uh, the uh, the job you will start learning the things and then your uh, uh, performance it all depends upon the performance in the start and then uh, if your performance are good then it's it's perfect for you to get into uh, you know continue the, uh, the job because there are many fields many uh, things that you can do after you get into travel industry you get to learn about the places what are the places in the world and after knowing the places in the world you can you know plan a plan different things with your life so this also this career also helps you in you know finding your own particular passion that what kind of things you want to do so if you want to be a travel blogger if you want to be a travel influencer if you want to you know uh, make people travel there are many many things that you can do do in this particular you know job and that uh, you know you are from hotel management so after a while if you want to you know uh, get into uh, uh, and into food and baking and all these uh, stuff like cooking and uh, making uh, so some some people get joy in making people have good food so uh, you can travel and uh, open cafes but it depends all on uh, the things that uh, you learn sir ton for taking the time out for these incredible insights i'm sure that any person wanting to build a career in tour management would get a lot of value after listening to your experiences and thoughts to you watching career talks and podcasts with mentoria thank you all to the entire audience for taking the time time out We hope we've been able to give you a deeper understanding of building a career in tour management. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Mentoria, visit our website, or call our career helpline. Right, but thank you so much, Abhi, for taking the time out and joining us here today. Thanks a lot for inviting me. It was a good session, and and uh, if you, if anyone needs any uh, advice, then I'm open to uh, give them any. Super. Thanks Avi. Bye everybody and have a good weekend ahead. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Happy weekend.